are you doing in here? Is this Lord Buckingham's home? It might be why. You heard what I said. Is this Lord Buckingham's home? Yes, yes, it is. Leave me alone. F what do you think you're doing? I don't know who this man is. He must have come through the front door. No, I did not. I came through the back door. It was unlocked. Arthur, come here. What now? Yes, now. Well, I'll go now. Oh, no, you don't. Arthur, take this man down to the servant's room. Yes, Mr. Jackson came on you. Are you okay, Caroline? Yes, I will be fine. <laughs> Get on with your work. Now, are you a Nazi spy or an American spy? Why the hell should I tell you lot who I am? George, show this man out, will you? Yes, Mr. Jackson. I can come on you, out you go, and don't come back. That's what you think. Mrs. Edgewood, here's his lordship's dinner. Oh, George, has the American man gone now? Yes, but he said something to me. What? Nothing important. Now get back into your bed, Mr. Buckingham. It is his lordship to you, Doctor, and I will not go and sit in that silly bed all day long, wasting my time. Ah, oh, Miss Edgewood, can you go and have a talk with his lordship? He won't listen to me. Yes, I have got his dinner here for him, George. Go and take Dr. Smith to the servant's room and tell Gordon to give him a cup of tea. Yes, I will. This way, Dr. Smith. Here is your dinner, my lord. I don't want dinner, Caroline. Take it away. You have to have something to eat. You know, you really don't look well. No, I am happy. It's just been stuck up here all day. Damn bored, I tell you. But that is what Dr. Smith said. I don't care what he says. I feel absolutely fine. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, my lord, but you've got to do what Dr. Smith tells you to, or you'll never get better. I'll bring your breakfast up for you early in the morning. Stop! There is one person I would like to see. My granddaughter, if you can. I will see what I can do. Thank you, Caroline. Oh, what are you doing in there? Giving his lordship his dinner. Well? Now, now, dear. Leave Caroline alone. Oh, shut up. Mr. Jackson, can I take Dolly out to the theatre tonight? I don't see why not, Arthur. You and the rest can go out if you would like to. What? All of us? Yes. Here's five pounds. Thanks. Come on, you lot, let's go and have fish and chips for our tea. Why is Mr. Jackson alone with Miss Edgewood? Don't ask questions like that, come on.
was lovely. Where did you learn to play like that? Well, my grandmother had this lovely old black piano and she taught me to play it. Well, I must go and see his lordship. No. What do you mean, no? I must see if his lordship has had his dinner. I want to tell you something. Can't it wait till I get back? Caroline, will you marry me? Say it one more time. Caroline, I have loved you since the first time we met, and I would like to spend the rest of my living days with you. So will you marry me, my love? Yes. Yes, I will, Edward. Did you find out any more information? No, the stupid butler caught me. You did not tell him anything? No, sir. Good. Have you got the gun? Yes, sir. Then give it to me. Now! Is that it? My work is complete. Can I have my money now? Money? When I have done the job, that home will not know what has hit it. And where are you taking that baby? To see his lordship. Now, if you don't mind, get out of the way. How dare you? No, how dare you? I don't have to tell you anything. You don't live here. Now move it. Come on, my lovely one. Leave the servants alone. Oh, shut up. My lord, here's your granddaughter to see you. Oh, put her on the bed. Will that be all, my lord? Yes, you can go now. <coughs> oh. We'll let some fresh air in for us. This room is terribly stuffy. Oh, what's wrong, little one? Oh, quickly, baby. Call the servant's bell. 